as we wait for the launch of College Football 25, we might as well talk about some rookies today. We're going to talk about 12 rookies on ADP, going down the list, talking about their player values, the advanced metrics, everything else, pitting them up against the veterans who are in the same range of ADP so you can see who you would rather have in value there. But before we dig in, you need to click that subscribe button right now. We're helping you build your dynasty teams. We're helping you find those deep stashes. We're helping you look at those rookies every single day. We're going to be talking about College Football 25. That'll be on the channel as well, if not already. But let's dig in our first rookie today, Kamani Vidal, because he's got some pop in the step. Go between the tackles. We got some production. We got some receiving output. We're in a very ambiguous depth chart here. Gus Edwards coming back from an injury, coming into training camp. J.K. Dobbins looked good in mini camp and OTAs, but we know his story as well. But look at Vidal here. Malachi Corley, Deshaun Watson, Josh Palmer, Bucky Irvin, Ray Davis. So we're in a batch of rookies here in ADP. You're picking your poison, but we're on the Chargers. Justin Herbert's going to be moving to football. We're valued as RB43 off the board, so he's a deep stash. A lot of people like him. I like him as well. I got him in the Scott Fishbowl for this year and the back nine of the draft, but our next player, Bucky Irving, and he was a hot prospect going into draft season. RB45 off the board right after Vidal here. Behind Josh Palmer, above Dalton Schultz, in that range. Demario Douglas, are you looking for a running back? Are you looking for a guy on the back end of your roster there that could help you out? Would you rather have Chase Brown? Would you rather have J.K. Dobbins or maybe even Troy Franklin? But again, we got Rashad White there. He's not going to give up the job unless he gets hurt. Bucky Irvin's good in the passing game. He could be good in PPR. He might have his moment where he's valuable and fancy. He's very dependable, and he's on a roster here that can move the football. Next is Ray Davis. I like him a lot, especially on this team, because they were bringing in running backs left and right last year. They brought in the ghost of Leonard Fournette. That did not work out, and that is a sign that they want to plug that RB2 or 1B back on this team. And he could be seeing touches this year. He could be seeing opportunity. He's very productive, has good size of just athleticism. And he's on an offense here that can move the football. Again, we're in the same range. Do you like him or J.K. Dobbins? Him or Chase Brown? Him or Gus Edwards for the long term? Roshan Johnson, Keaton Mitchell? Who do you like better in that range versus the running backs? Him versus Rashad Bateman. Let me know in the comments below. RB46, cheap get if you're looking for an upside stash in your startup drafts. Troy Franklin, wide receiver 70. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. I like him at value. I like him as an upside wide receiver for the long term. An ambiguous depth chart and a very ambiguous team for him as well. Has some upside here. Could really walk in and be the wide receiver one over some time. Could really deliver some production for you eventually. He's on an offense here that we can say it's sputtering. We can say it's transitioning. But again, Troy Franklin looked good at Oregon. Very smart cerebral route runner. And some players are going to fall in the draft. When you have 20 deep out of position with a day two grade or better, some of those players with day two grades are going to go to day three. He did not fall in day three. He got snatched up early in day three. That is another sign that, hey, you may want to look at Troy Franklin. The flip side to that, the Broncos... Do not have some cost invested in him, but you're not either. But you're not either, so why not? Javon Baker, wide receiver 73, another one of my guys. This is kind of like the my guy range here of ADP because I like to be cheap. I like to shop at a value. The top end guys, I'll let everybody else talk about them. But Javon Baker, nasty, crispy, assertive route runner, nasty at the catch point. You saw that at UCF, especially last year. You saw that at the Senior Bowl. You're seeing that in his workouts. You're seeing him in a lot of workout clips with a lot of different wide receivers all over the league. This guy can be productive. We're on a team that's developing, that's transitioning into the Drake May era. We'll see how that works out. But Javon Baker, wide receiver, 73 and ADP. Tons of upside here. Him versus Gabe Davis. Him versus Wondell Robinson. Him versus Ty Chandler. 
long-term upside here, you may want to shoot for that instead of going for those veterans. You know we're just going to put her out on you over time. Tyrone Tracy, a lot of talk with him. Loved him coming out of Purdue. Former wide receiver, can catch the ball in the backfield, has good speed, can be used between the tackles. An ambiguous depth chart. We got Singletary there. But again, running backs will running back, which means they'll get hurt eventually, and it could be in this roster. You want to look at him? Even though it's not the most potent offense, you're catching him at a good value at RB52. Him or Isaiah Likely, him or Tyler Algier, Antonio Gibson, Bo Nix, Brandon Cooks. Maybe if you want that upside stab at running back, but Bo Nix enters the chat here. QB 21 and 1QB, QB 24 and Superflex, 71 overall in Superflex. But versus the skilled players in 1QB, Brandon Cooks, Antonio Brown, Tyler Algier. We got some value here. Could be a sneaky player. Might have some upside, but it might take some time. But you're catching him at a discount 1QB Superflex. 71 overall for a first round quarterback. I know it's not very good and it's not very pretty, but he does have some talents. Are you willing to make that investment versus what else is on the board? Luke McCaffrey, wide receiver 77, ADP 173. Right after Brandon Cooks, Hederico Daddle, Chuba, Zeke, Bryce, JT Sanders. I am not too hot on him. Quarterback transitioning the wide receiver. Not a power five guy at the wide receiver position. Looked okay at the Senior Bowl. Had some speed to him. We're going to an offense with a new quarterback. Things might look different. They also need that short A dot wide receiver because Curtis Samuel's gone. Maybe Luke McCaffrey gets fed short targets sooner than later. JT Sanders, tight end 20. And I've said it before with other tight ends that are, are flyers. Get your stud and then maybe you pay a little bit. Pay tight end 20 price tag and you get a JT Sanders type tight end. And then you do not have to feel like you got to keep grabbing tight ends, which you should not. You should not. But you're locked in with an upside tight end. You got your stud, and you're good to go. Him versus Bryce Young, 1QB. Kirk Cousins, 1QB. Mike Williams. Jaleel McLaughlin. Audric Estimate. Kind of like that duo. Jalen McMillan. We'll talk about those guys later. As in right now, Audric Estimate. RB60, and we got some power here. And some news is stating that Javante Williams has to fight for a starting job, which I totally believe. This is a backfield here that has some talent, and they're trying to weed out the weak. Javante Williams has been injured off and on throughout his career. Audric Estime, you can catch him cheap in rookie drafts, and then also in startup drafts. Did not do well at the 40-yard dash. He failed it. That allows you to catch him at a discount. Round 5 pick in the NFL draft. But this is a very ambiguous depth chart. Samaji Pirine's not going to be there forever. It could be him and Jaleel McLaughlin for the long turn. Jalen McMillan is a supreme route runner. And the news is... Chris Godwin's going to the slot are going to be seeing more opportunities in the slot, which means there's going to be three wide receivers on the field, which means there's going to be opportunities for another wide receiver to see reps. And it could be McMillan. He is a stud route runner. Crispy hands, productive in 2022. We had some injuries off and on. There could be something here. Baker Mayfield likes to go yellow with it, so we could see some upside. Rasheen Ali, you guys love him. I love him too. Very ambiguous depth chart here with the Ravens. And it's Injury City in Baltimore. We can definitely say that with the running backs. So again, those running backs, even with late round draft capital, who are sitting there on the 53, or even on the practice squad, you want to take note on him. Good size of just athleticism. Good production. We have a 46 reception season to his name. And he's cheap. RB61. Him or Will Shipley, him or Braylon Allen in startup drafts, him versus Michael Wilson. Who are you taking with those price tags? But remember, College Football 25 is almost here. But make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Which rookies are you trying to grab on the cheap? We covered the first 24 rookies prior to this video. Check those videos out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.